I was getting the hang of my new job. It was hard work, but I loved it. I studied the logistics of it day and night, even made friends with a few of my co-workers that sat in the cubes next to me. I stayed over most nights working on advertisements, even falling asleep at my desk until James would tap me and tell me I was done for the day. I worked hard. After the first month, I had landed three businesses who bought my designs. I was a great drawer, very creative, and had a way with words. I knew this and I was determined for my career to go higher. We had our Friday dinner parties all the same with lavish workers from the firm, drinking wine, talking about businesses and family life over dinner. This one in particular ended up being a different type of dinner. I decided to wear my blue lace dress with a silver coated zipper that zipped up the whole dress from the side and my gray strap up heels. At least I thought I looked presentable. Never liked my ankles, though. I sat at the farthest corner of the table, smiling and creating James as he sat down and motioned for the waitress to bring him a bottle of white champagne. He was staring at me as he drank the appetizer wine he had already ordered. Did I think he was attractive? Yes, I did. I wanted to rip his clothes off at that table and tell him to take all of me. Yes, but how unprofessional would I be acting like I wasn't raised with sense knowing how he looked at me? Gave me a clue that he wanted me also. Welcome everyone to our weekly dinner meeting. We have lots to discuss. We have brought in a lot of commerce this month thanks to our new ad associate, Miss Helter. Everyone clapped and I lifted my glass of wine to them and took a sip, which I thought was classy of me. So let's try. I am now promoting you to become my personal assistant. At that moment, my class was tested. As I spit out my wine and grabbed the napkin, does that mean you're excited? Said James. Everyone laughed. Y- yes, very very excited. Congratulations to Miss Halter, said one of the managers. How could I possibly have to sit next to this man every day with my thoughts going through my head? Crazy, right? Miss Halter, said James, I would like to personally invite you to my suite to discuss some things about your new job. Now, if I wasn't shit faced it off the wine, had I been sipping all night, I would have said no. But I didn't. I said yes and found myself balled up in a bunch of silk covers, tracks tangled in front of my face the next morning. Okay, so yeah, we fucked. Don't act like this hadn't happened to you before after a few drinks. Anyways, I sat up and what was standing in front of me was gorgeous. Muscles, thin waist, boxers, the bulge streaming from the front of his boxers. The embarrassment and excitement made me choke. My boss was standing in front of me brushing his teeth. Finally awoke. Uh, yeah, I'm all messed up. He smiled and sat on the edge of the bed. It's a lie, he said. What's a lie? They say women don't look good in the morning. But you look as beautiful as last night. Uh, thank you. I found a shirt lying on the side of the bed and went on a scavenger hunt for my panties. I found them tucked underneath the top comforter and slid them on. Can we not talk about what happened to anyone, about what happened tonight, about to anyone, as I stuttered. Our business is out and our business is our business, he said as he rushed to put his clothes on. We're late to work. I obviously drove somehow my car to his apartment because both our cars were parked there. I got in mine, he got in his, and I followed him to the farm.